is Hester. And this is Maria. And together we are... The Concert Counselors! Today we are going to give you a few tips to memorize music. It may seem a little bit scary to play from memory, especially if you don't have previous experience. However, we would like to encourage you and your ensemble to perform and rehearse some music by heart. In case you need some motivation, here are a few good reasons to play concert music from memory. Number one, you can have more and better visual contact with your fellow players and with your audience when you play from memory. Number two, your ensemble will look much better. There will be no obstacles between audience and musicians and your interaction will be more interesting to watch. Number three, being able to play from memory involves a deep musical knowledge of the piece. In the process of learning, you will get to know the structure, form and special features of the piece very well, like an actor who knows his lines. Number four, you are free to move around on stage, which may be useful sometimes. Number five, memory is brain training and any kind of brain training is beneficial for your mental health. Would you like to give it a try? Here are 10 tips to help you. Work on memorization regularly and in short sessions. It's much better to practice every day 15 to 30 minutes than uh, several hours in a row at once. Practice and rehearse the music from paper first. Work on your sound, your interpretation, your presentation and then the last step you add the memorization as the cherry on top. One reason for this tip is that when you are practicing and rehearsing, you are already starting the memorization process. And you may know much more than you actually think. There is a way in which you can test this. After a very good rehearsal in which you have played from paper, listen to a, a recording or a MIDI file of the piece. And follow or sing your line along with the music without looking at the score and you will immediately realize that there is already a lot that is already in your mind and maybe some areas that need still a little bit of work. Divide the piece in short sections and start memorizing them one by one, building up the piece slowly. And always start listening, singing or playing a couple of bars before the actual new section starts. Record your ensemble playing the piece during a rehearsal or alternatively find a MIDI file of the piece online or even better make it yourself with notation software. You can sing, play or think and follow the music along with these recordings. You can also find other recordings by other artists. But be careful, there are many, many factors that can vary enormously uh, from one performance to another. For example, the ornamentation, the timing, the tempo, the form and even some of the notes. This can be very confusing. Whether you practice alone or together with your ensemble, it's always a good idea to work in as many different ways as you possibly can. In that way, you are going to make sure that the information goes into different areas of the brain and therefore you memorize better and quicker. Here are a few examples. And of course, you can also combine all of the techniques before together. Help your visual memory by taking notes and making marks on your score. Use arrows, keywords, colors, anything you want to mark places that may be difficult to remember or that are very special. Analyze the composition, uh, the form, all the imitations and write down all you see. 
By doing this, you are storing important elements in your memory already and you will understand the music much better. Do you have long rests during the piece? Then learn them in two ways. On the one hand, learn how long they last, for example, two full bars, but also learn what your colleagues are doing during that time so that you can listen to it. That's your cue. If you don't have any previous experience, we recommend that you take a short piece which is technically not too demanding and which you rehearsed very well with your ensemble and where you have a lot of affinity with. This means that you already know the piece very well and the main job is just to get rid of the sheet music and be free. Don't allow any frustration or fears or anxiety to kick in if you are working on playing by heart for the first time. Remember that what you are trying to do is to feel more free and to enjoy the music even more. So also encourage yourself and be encouraging to others in your ensemble and enjoy this new experience. It's worthwhile to spend some time for the last step, uh, which is playing the piece from the beginning to end a couple of times with your colleagues as if you are performing. And then focus on um, being able to react to your fellow players when a spontaneous timing comes in or a signal that never happened before so that you can be really, really, really free on stage. If you are interested in Renaissance or early Baroque repertoire, uh, we have a YouTube channel for you, which is essential. Its name is Early Music Sources, and they present excellent, but also really fun tutorials about lots of different aspects of historical performance practice. So if you want to know more about solmization, about modes, about cadences, about counterpoint or basso continuo, this is the place to be. They have expert knowledge, which is the most important, but also a touch of humor and excellent visuals. So really, this is going to brighten up your day. Check it out. Given the topic of today, do not forget to subscribe. And if you have questions or comments for us, contact us here. See you next time. Bye bye.